It is another exclusive edition of Multimedia Plus online television news. Hello and welcome to our broadcast. I am Justice Victor Jones here with you. In our top stories for this edition, unrest in Tomo Village, police call for calm. Some people in Freetown speak on the impact of the recently concluded three-day lockdown. Business people in the clay stove manufacturing industry speak on their challenges in carrying out their trade and also Sierra Leone Scout Association embarks on COVID-19 sensitization drive. Now all of these stories as usual form part of our broadcast of this edition of Multimedia Plus Online Television News. I am Eustace Victor Jones. commence with our very first story. Sierra Leone has just ended a three-day nationwide lockdown as part of her measures in fighting the novel coronavirus pandemic. Now Multimedia Plus went around the capital of Freetown and sounded the views of some members of the public regarding the difficulties encountered during the three-day. As a, uh, as an emergency for some people, uh, why some people need to prepare earlier because of the fact that we did get the rule of say, we did observe another uh, experience for the So some people and uh, uh, some other people have uh, been prepared before. And as we all you know, we are under state of emergency. So you just get to prepare, although you not be fine for some man, more especially the needless because they're not getting say they get the uh, way so very, very good. No get problem in our area. The only constraint and challenge is they won't get now the water. Then the lights now just because they go the car, but then after then they get posted. So one for say we thank God, the one for tell Mother Bill, thank you for it in all for this lockdown. This lockdown, I, I can say praise God and praise be to the Almighty. And even though uh, man is spending lockdown at us, and I also can say do that difficult to tighten up because uh, we at least come to open and to lock the time and will not look commercial because all night to be by busy time. So now we can The rate of unemployment in Sierra Leone has soared to 4.30 percent as of 2019. Now this has forced many to be exploring other indigenous streets as means of survival amid heightening economic challenges. Now, one of such industries is the local clay stove manufacturing industry. Our reporter, Mohamed Baki Kamara, picks up the story and now reports. The industry of clay stove production, also known as Wonder Stove, has seen a mad rush over the years. With seeming tension in the job market, many are now finding solace in local manufacturing industries. Here at Swataloo, just a few kilometers away from the capital, Freetown, there is a community called Sansangon. This massive manufacturing site holds about 50 workers, all from different departments, from pan cutting, panel beating, to clay baking. Hassan Koguma. Actually, we're in the plan. We're in the plan at the pit, and counter, and cut in the can massa. We don't mass out sansa. After we don't mass out the sansa now, we make something like a slab. We put it inside the pan. The molding pan then they wouldn't be made where they go by an account 20,000. So after that, we don't do it in separate. We don't do make canal. We then don't call the molding pan. We put it inside. We the cable move. Now let's go back with just more experience from what we're doing. 
but well job not day so if you find yourself here i can see now god may not come for you so the first way motivate me actually when i see you and call her mama and they meet me in the room actually and say for joining this okay but me i not been put on later and i really put praise up say for that country mami Beshi is the eldest among the workers here she has spent more than 15 years working at the site. For her, thievery is not an option. According to her, she has been able to raise her children out of proceeds from the trade. But her job-like lamentation of apparent frustration is quite dazzling. Now here with the work, with the support of picking them, with the support of family there. So now this work here with the government's not a big deal. If that load they pay, cash not they help we now. Now we they help we serve. Now we they now man they work then they work now. They form a car they can't do ya. We don't take now fifteen years, good fifteen, good years. We get now. No help. Then they have what they make us so. Now sell it with the sell. Let we get, let we go here, we get we handle much. We able to support your family. Last now, what they talk to me, the sister, they say you don't die. We deny on you. So, we say I have hope now. Yeah. I'm not getting money where they support me. This pharaoh will meet up with me back in Nuggets. So, now we no more day back to battle. I'm not getting work. So, I see the young boy there now. For work, they don't want the can at this work here. See the young boy there where they find fine, they got fine, fine, but they call, uh, uh, meant to call on I didn't get. Clean, clean one day. Work no day. We're all at this purpose where Sansa and Kili. For a can I ask for a missing water, I know my missing water full up. For a can I miss water, I don't go see the young boy that they sorry for them. It's a whole world, mommy, the whole world is over. When they bury water for this clay, they sorry for me. All is not so easy as they may seem. The trade is coded by a lot of constraints. For Santigi, the unavailability of mobility to transport their finished products to town could not be more frustrating. Why the local clay manufacturing industry could prove quite profitable in an age of financial insecurity and apparent economic liquidation in Sierra Leone, the constraints in executing the job are ever lingering and suffocating. Multimedia Plus online television, I am Mohamed Bake Kamara. Now, if you would recall, there has been some distressing reports about a situation of disorder in Tumbo. It is a fishing village in the outskirts of the capital city, Freetown. Now, the incident which occurred on Wednesday morning left two dead and many others badly wounded. Properties worth millions of leones were destroyed in the fracas. Our reporter, Fatmata Mohamed Bangura, has more on the story. There have been some reports about some riots that led to the destruction of some lives and properties in Tumbu village. Police has condemned the attack and has called for calm. Here is the head of media and public relations of the Sierra Leone police, 
superintendent Brian Makamara. The police not getting the prior issue there with the community. So we even surprised for them to see the advance, that kind of large number. We can bond the police station, the advance of the hospital. The police are the family's opportunity to have set on fire, who set the the hospital on fire, pass me. They are on fire. They are on fire. They don't call the ambulance. 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 But uh, you are not here. Yeah. The up to now it is a woman. We are here to even confirm it. See somebody come down the cartel and say, uh, ten votes. One of them. Use that we're gonna see per day. How to use it? We are still looking for confirmation. We are still looking for confirmation. You know, so those kinds of situations. So we now see why maybe. Take some money, but then go all and but then but then but then but then but then but then. Is that the usual issue of lawlessness that this country is saying? Every small thing that people want to target the police. Every small thing that people want to target the police. You know, and the police, you know, we are all humans just like how they serve humans. We get life like, just like how they serve their life. You know, we'll target the person to the point the person self, they feel fear, say, you are kill. You know, and uh, why not that TV really happen or that? Even gunshots may come from their own end. You know, so that, that, that made the situation very dangerous. And be very volatile. And so uh, we hope for getting enforcement come. And then we for repel them and make sure that the situation under control. Well, there is the coffee, all the in, and the coffee will extend as long as possible. Look, see, pass, we need to stabilize before we say the coffee. And so there is the coffee, so everybody there. And as you look around, more of the security forces. So we are here, the military there, the police there. Various human rights groups have also condemned the violence. Molai Conte, director of National Youth Coalition, civil society organization, he speaks more in this interview. We are civil society, we can mainly follow we know what cause this um, fight today now, so this conflict. And also for let we able to look at the human rights aspect because as we talk now there is a curfew here. You know, put the entire tumbo on a curfew because of what's happening. But the small information we we'll gather, we understand say the fishermen will not be happy with um, after we the three days lockdown done, then say the ration, then boats them for going at the sea. And what they want, they want them all for going at the sea, for go for for it, because after three days lockdown. But they understand say them for ration, they let like ten go. Today, then tomorrow, I think 10 go. So, that now one major two will pick where we find out, say, now the major cause of the uh, uh, um, um, conflicts here today. And I think from there now, then decide for protest and demonstrate the demonstration and then clash with and police them. And from there, uh, the police then, then take all over the town now. And the people then they're in hiding, as you can see, everybody they indoors. But thank God the security, they're able to calm down the situation. I think that's not the big thing because otherwise, if I don't go haywire, if I don't cause more problem. So, the good thing is that. Uh, um, the people in the um, indoors and even the Abu Master, the way some of the way talk to me, they all emphasize about this rationing and again for do with them bread and butter business. So I think that's the major thing. And also, I think one other thing you need for know now that there are casualties. Where will they decide for no? What now the cause we make some people them according to them say we will not able to see the body them, but they say at least one person die in a civilian where they say sustain um, um, bullets injury and uh, so with the watch watch around we set this time for no further i think uh, this will be able for like share with tonight desnin domingo is a community nurse in tumbo she speaks on the nature of the destruction of the community health facility made them prepare for car work why are we and gone short police they all over more over the youth they up and down now the community, but we don't know actually if they get beefing or waiting at the grudge. We get, we lead them really know waiting at the cause. But me just be the try for car work while all the riots and they take place now the community. If I turn and say I know I don't know anything, but I just feel I know more for them born with hospital with police station and they arrest we say Cho, they go and too bad. If you want me to say Cho, treat yourself not so soon. That woman so they made a wayside, they were close. Before they remember, they all rushed another woman in place. 
Dande don't that man get pressure. Then that they don't they want born ambulance. If they born the ambulance, how we go? What in them go use for go cottage and come emergency case? Belo man so tell they on bleeding maternal death. They don't know mobility death in the world. Pass then get for talk to them. Say do you wanna calm down? Wanna not on this ambulance? So I they get for drive off the ambulance. They go, but still the guy out stone. They go so this that. One, two minutes, and say, so German, and they are around now. See, they all don't scatter. But by then, now they don't burn the hospital more, the HIV office, the lab, all this. We don't know what's in the cause of this particular incident will take place now. This storm. By Some of the community people had this to say to Multimedia Plus online television. The beginning circle, they all die. 23 years of age. This morning, me go for go friend me living because in a villa, now they build this, this house. Looking boss man, sit down. I don't know how comes because I will see now the life nine done. Because I'm a not to rally boy, not to any, not to fisherman for she or then they go attack. In a single man, a builder. So I don't know how I manage to go die. Wait, wait, Nine, nine leg with in hand. When I take up for go to an hospital, when I go to the police or any other thing? Yeah, they go to, they take up for go to the hospital, but they say they're very sad. They die in the hand. We don't give it three days lockdown and we don't day, we don't suffer, no supply, nothing. We don't suffer all these three days with hunger. This morning we grab, we say we want to go and see. The crew members wait for day like this kind of boat, so we're not going to, uh, uh, going to boat. Uh, we, about 30 people now for go to see, because it can't change the rule they use. It's not easy. For drum, we don't catch catch them. Then, then say now only four people now for dinner this boat for gonna see. Just imagine the boat where they point you. This very one where they talk so. You understand eh? Okay. Now we talk so no. Let them try consider. With now fifteen people say let we go. They say no. If now one more now we anything we will, we will like let we do. But if we make any rubbish, one month, two months we not ever gonna see. So the bubble then. Before we they know what the apple the bubble they don't strike because they not get that way for make make money now. Yeah? Now fishing no more. Now we depend on. You understand? So, now the bubble then come, they come block, block the road, they say, Bo, no, we are not treat we so. They say, we are not treat we so. One, we are fish a man there. And I threw fish in, now we they get. So, if we say, we are not going to say, I will go able to eat. They say, but Motoka, they run, Okada, they run. Then why would they stop with the fisherman for not going to see? And I say, if we they go to see, just two people or two boats, now for going to see. Inside this tomb, the people then go able to feed. A good number of Sierra Leoneans have called for peace and calm and to end what is believed to be some political unrest in the country. Multimedia Plus hope to keep you informed as new information and development unfold. Reporting for Multimedia Plus online television, I am Fatma Mohamed Bangura. As the fight against COVID-19 keeps heightening, the Sierra Leone Scout Association has embarked on a sensitization drive to the Dwozak and New England communities respectively. Respondents of the respective communities were engaged on preventive measures in flattening the curve of the COVID-19 pandemic. Our reporter Anthony Vandy has the story. The tour started here at Dwazak community. A total of three groups carried out the exercise. A detailed explanation and directive of how one could prevent and curtail the spread of COVID-19 was the central theme of the sensitization. Patrick Masakoy is the International Communications and Programs Officer of the Sierra Leone Scouting Association. Today we decided to bring a handful of scouts together in order for them to go into communities to raise awareness of the people about COVID-19. Because according to our promise, uh, we are in, we promise to do our best to God and our country to help other people at all time and to be the scout law. So in that particular promise, we saw that it is really very important and necessary that we contribute in fighting this faceless enemy called COVID-19 by supporting government and the people of Sierra Leone to carry out a social mobilization in communities. That is why we are here. And before we took this particular venture, we wrote a letter that we want the communication pillar to conduct a training for us. So we have an orientation and we are giving an attestation which gives us the authority in order to go and sensitize the people. So that is why they are here. We give them a briefing before they can take off to go to the communities. 
at New England, questionnaires were also given to respondents in order to source their level of knowledge of the coronavirus. Leading the team was scouter John Cissé. The novelty of COVID-19 has cast a thick cloud of misunderstanding over many. People believe the chewing of ginger and garlic, sucking of lime, and the drinking of hot water could be potential antidote of curing the virus. Unfortunately, none of which has been scientifically proven. Esther Cabo is one of the respondents who we are sensitized during the community tour. They wash the hand, if they go wet, they go toilet, wash the, then they wash the hand, they use the hand sanitizer. Also this uh, uh, mouth face. If you go to the public, inside like crowd, use them. Because like when we can go transport to the good of God, you can get some animal just to sneeze before you. Or when you work at them, it's before you. The Sierra Leone Scouts Association has been into existence since 1909. It became a member of the World Organization of Scouts Movement in 1964 and has survived till present day. Reporting for Multimedia Plus Online Television, I am Anthony Vandy. If you are just tuning in, you are watching content from Multimedia Plus Online Television with me, Eustace Victor Jones. We are now going for a short break. We'll be right back. Even the haters testify, called the man when I was amateur. Couldn't holler them, I said this vicious fever, the Taliban. The game don't don't see the boy called the narrow man, live at the red man within our studio man. You know, I mean, kiss the throne if he coming. Just kindly wants to freestyle, and it's very good studio. The setup is good. Emma Nice and Django, shout out to Una. Proud of what Una they do. You know, we need more of this than the industry. Hey, this is Emerson, the last man standing. Of course, we're right here at Multimedia Plus and we had a great session and um, come check it out it's, it's a great studio you know great sound great producer and um, support your own salon content sugar entertainment at multimedia plus peace <laughs> Back in case you're just joining us, this is Multimedia Plus Online Television News with me, Eustace Victor Jones. We are continuing with more stories in this edition. A diaspora-based organization, Healthcare Sierra Leone, has made a donation of food and non-food items to some health workers at the Connaught Hospital in Freetown. The donation is to aid in the fight against the coronavirus pandemic. Here is the report. Healthcare Sierra Leone is an organization in the diaspora that is comprised of Sierra Leonean health professionals. The mission of the organization, among other things, is to upgrade and standardize the medical facilities in the county. The organization has on Wednesday donated rice and other health items 
to the healthcare workers at the Connaught Hospital. The surgeon in charge of accidents and emergency department at the Connaught Hospital, Dr. Mustafa Kaba said, the donation is a moral support to aid in the fight against COVID-19. Healthcare Sierra Leone, a local organization in USA comprising of doctors and uh, colleagues who decided to raise some funds and help us in this dear time. At a time when healthcare workers are the frontliners in this fight against COVID, it is very necessary for them to have made this donation which they did to support them, give them the moral support so that the work we are doing could be recognized from everybody. On this note, I wouldn't go further to, to say much. We received a couple of bags of rice, we received some sanitizers, gloves, shields, and some materials that we need to do our work. And we hope that with these donations that have been given, our work will be made easier and we can continue to deliver the services for which we have been paid as doctors, nurses, and healthcare workers in this hospital. The Chief Medical Director, Dr. Fadludin, commended the gesture as a timely one in critical times like these. I wish to thank Healthcare Sierra Leone for this wonderful donation. As you can see, what we have here are bags of rice, sanitizers, masks, and the sort of things that are required at this point in time. Um, as I've been told, as you have been told, healthcare Sierra Leone comprises of doctors and other healthcare personnel from the diaspora. Um, we were visited in January, last January, by these people, and they wanted to know what our needs are. And this is the first, this is the starting of our association with them. So here today we are receiving these items, and we assure them that these items will be put into proper use. The medicine in charge, Ms. Safula, appreciated the donation and called on other partners to continue to support and appreciate healthcare workers. We are really grateful. Once somebody told me that it's not what somebody gives to you, but it's the thoughts behind it. Now with all the crisis in the world, you people can still be over there to think about us, to send us these, these much needed items. We want to say thank you. On behalf of the whole, the workers of Connors Hospital here, not just the nurses, but all of us working at Connaught Hospital want to extend our heartfelt thanks to Healthcare Sierra Leone. And we want you to know that we appreciate and that these things will be used for the purpose intended. We appreciate them because these are going to help our work very much. And called on other partners to continue to support and appreciate healthcare workers to combat the deadly coronavirus. Reporting from Multimedia Plus Online Television, I am Lucy Imanet Aliu. As we continue to take preventive steps on keeping ourselves safe from the coronavirus, we do so by also building a safe space for girls in Sierra Leone. In this vein, let's now take a video from uh, Purposeful, a feminist movement hub in Sierra Leone. Feminist hub. I'm Fetha Bega. Mamu. Yeah. Hey, 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 you know. But not forget, say all the people then get the own, then get the own lives. Now you right? Yes, we know. But make we see them now, supposed to make we fight this sick, yeah, so. Cause we need for stay safe. We go overcome with you, with you. But she said for wasi and with soap and water. We go start with you, with you, with you. Avoid close contact with other people then. How many you? Because you set the domina us. What is in this for the same party? Because you come together. With you, with you, with you, with you, with you. How many you? Come by your nose and your mouth with your elbow where you get cough or sneeze. Not touch your eye, not touch your nose or your mouth. No panic, yeah? yeah? Last time where we get Ebola. The lock school for fat Ebola. Girl picking them face abuse. Teenage pregnancy, na in take over. Guy, you just get away here. In a school, go get more pella, get more study. Make we study. Let man not touch your body. 
No money, no go work for body. But this kind thing, them, what we know to talk about. But them kind them, yeah, we got picking the stuff about. So let me listen to we were body people, them. Make we drive the sick. I won't go back to school. We go back to with you, with you. What you get for wasi and with soup and wasa? We go start with you, with you, with you. I for the first contact with other people, them. How many you? Do you set the domina os? What to send this for a friend party? Let's try to get there with you, with you, no, with you, with you. How many you? Cover your nose and your mouth with your elbow when you get cough or sneeze. Not touch your eye, not touch your nose or your mouth. Not panic, oh, yeah. Let's go. When they tell you for the wash you on, you get make sense. Mm -hmm. yeah. For instance. Oh, and they tell you make you sit down now, see the jump fence. Yeah. Now you live. Yes, we know. But not forget, say other people then get their own. Then get their own lives. Now you right. Yes, we know. But make we sit down now, it's first make we fight this sick, yeah, so. Cause we live for citizens. We go over to with you, with you. What you get for wasi and with soap and water? We go start with you, with you, with you. I for the first contact with other people then. How many you? Do you set the domina os? What to send this for a friend party? Let's try to get there with you, with you, no, with you, with you. How many you? We cover your nose and your mouth with your elbow when you get cough or sneeze. It's not touch your eye, it's not touch your nose or your mouth. No panic, yeah. Remember, say, when you keep to yourself for smack, it can make you think and talk talk for yourself. So take care of yourself. Talk to somebody. Meditate and stay positive. I mean, you, me, a purposeful. That's all we have time for in today's news broadcast on Multimedia Plus online television. But before we go, a quick recap of our top stories. Unrest in Tombo Village, police call for calm. Some people in Freetown speak on the impact of the recently concluded three-day lockdown. Business people in the clay manufacturing industry speak on their challenges in carrying out their trade. And also, the Sierra Leone Scout Association embarks on COVID-19 sensitization. That's how we draw the curtain down for today's broadcast on Multimedia Plus Online Television News. Now, do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Multimedia Plus Online Television for more updates, news broadcasts, programs, and interviews. We are also on Facebook at Multimedia Plus. Please visit, like, and share our page. Until we meet again for our next broadcast, I have been Eustace Victor Jones saying, Stay blessed and stay safe. Goodbye.